That's huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Do not know why I did this. They just know. They know. Let's clear that up right now.
What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been so busy lately. I've been so overwhelmed. Today was just one of those days like just trying to fit as much in as I possibly can but you still feel like you're behind. It's just I'm glad to be finally sitting down ready to eat. I had totally thought that this was going to be like a super quick super simple thing and it is really actually pretty simple but filming ends up making everything take just a little bit longer but I'm super happy about this idea that I had. I've got some oven roasted chicken with lemon pepper seasoning on it. I made a homemade tzatziki sauce, some oven roasted tomatoes, and then last minute I decided to make a olive and feta spread. I used Kalamata olives and then I have, this is Dave's Killer Bread, this is not sponsored by the way, um, but they have like six grams of protein per bun and I think they, they just look really smart, right? I just like love the little like dusting of flour on the top. And then I've got some butter lettuce which I ordered from Instacart, where was it from? Oh no, 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 it was from Whole Foods this time and I really thought I was getting like whole butter lettuce and it came in like all these little pieces and so I had intended for the bottom to just kind of, you know, like a uh, Shake Shack burger. They're always so pretty. I know that's not butter lettuce, but butter lettuce can really look pretty like that. Anyways, guys, let's get into this. I'm so excited, especially for these oven roasted tomatoes and tzatziki. Oh my goodness. Let's take a closer look. I mean, honestly. Do the little flippity flip. I'm gonna move these guys to the front. This is so juicy. Those tomatoes, when they roasted, they got like, they're releasing everything that they've got. All right, guys, cheers. That's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put my mouth around it. Oh my gosh. So juicy. That tzatziki has a definite kick. Mm. This is so good. It's almost like a Greek salad in sandwich form. It was so drippy. The chicken is cooked so well. I will say a few notes on it. First of all, definitely use a meat thermometer. All of the chicken was done at different times. They were not all the same thickness. So I used my meat thermometer to check when each one was done and pulled them out as they were done. I also bought bone in skin on chicken breasts because I wanted to do a skin on boneless chicken breast and I couldn't find any boneless. So I just deboned them 
myself. I originally put the chicken and the tomatoes, and I really do not know why I did this, in the oven at 350. But roasting temp is a little bit higher than that, so I should have started them a little higher. When my mom makes lemon pepper chicken, it's always got a much crispier skin. Then I realized she's making hers bone in, and she's usually doing like quarter chickens or half chickens when she does it. So it takes more time in the oven, higher temp, crispier skin. So I didn't get like the skin crispy the way that I wanted to, but I'm like noting that for next time. I'm gonna figure it out. I just love crispy chicken skin. And I really prefer chicken breast if you cook it properly for sandwiches. Mmm. Mmm. my fingers. I'm freaking demon inside my freezer. Every single time I start to film, they just know. They know. All right, so let's talk flavors here, because it's got everything. On the bottom, we've got that like really salty, briny feta olive spread. You got the like slightly crispy, fresh lettuce. The tender, juicy chicken. And you got those like sweet caramelized oven roasted tomatoes. They still have a little bit of tartness to them, but they really, really have a lot of sweetness that's brought out by roasting them. And then the tzatziki sauce has a definite tang, obviously, the freshness from the fresh herbs, the dill and the cucumber, and it's got a spiciness from that raw garlic. I think I added like six or seven cloves of raw garlic. The more you add, the spicier it will be. Raw garlic is spicy. If you don't believe me, just shove one in your mouth and start chopping. Kind of just want to sop up all the juices. Why not? Why not? Oh my gosh. New neighbor. I love making people feel weirded out. My neighbor across the way just shuts his blinds. I'm like, you snooze, you lose, pal. And if you guys didn't notice, the cucumber juice that I squeezed out for the tzatziki, I just added it to some vodka. Easy way to kind of pair something. I suppose I could have like gone a little crazy with this. You know, dill would have been amazing in this too. But I just decided to keep it simple because I needed to eat and I didn't feel like wasting any more time figuring a cocktail out. Isn't it such a pretty color too? It's very vibrant. It is very messy. The tomatoes are really 
and the tzatziki. I suppose if you put the tzatziki on the bottom and the olive feta spread on the top, you probably would deal with a little less mess, maybe? I don't know. I like the way it looks when the, the tzatziki is just like kind of coming down and everything. Mmm. Oh, look, that piece of chicken. So light, too. Mm. All right, which one do I want? I'm gonna save the other one for Shane, though I'm not sure that he's gonna eat all the things on it. He's probably gonna take the tomato off at least. But I hope we'll try it with the tzatziki and the olive feta situation. He's not huge on cheese or olives, but I'm trying to make him a believer. I feel like even when you don't like some things, that pairing it with the right stuff can really change your mind about it. That's how I like started liking foods that I didn't used to like. For instance, I didn't used to like olives, but I like saw why they would be good in certain things. So I started eating those things in like the best places or like the best versions that I could find. And I'm like, all right, I see it now. I see it now. I mean, so pretty. Oh man, so good. I feel like it's all over my face. This definitely is not a clean eating burger, <laughs> even though it's very light. So this weekend, and you guys, I don't think are watching this till after this weekend, but we are going to the CrossFit Games, which I'm super excited about. We went like two or three years ago, and the funniest thing happened while we were there. Actually, I'm not even, I'm not going to say it was funny. It wasn't funny at all. So the day before we went to the CrossFit Games, people had been telling me to do the Packy One Chip Challenge for a while. And this guy, one of our buddies from down south that we used to go to the gym with, he's like, if I send it to you, will you eat it on camera? And I was like, sure. So I didn't do a full mukbang with it. So you won't see it on my channel. But I did do like a live video. I think it was just on Instagram. And <sighs> so 
So the challenge itself wasn't terrible. I mean, it was really, really spicy, really spicy, but I kind of cheated. I had ice cream. I was like testing out like different things that could cool your mouth down. Water, milk, ice cream, something else. So I like was able to put the fire out and I didn't really have too much trouble. I don't remember finishing the entire thing, but I had some, it hurt. I was like, all right, the chip has made its point. I'm not gonna continue. Mm. So the next day, we go to the CrossFit Games and we're walking around. We first get there, actually. My stomach just starts going in knots, like terrible pain in my stomach. I could barely stand. I had goosebumps all over my body and I was like, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm gonna get through however long a period of time this is gonna last for. And it ended up lasting all day. I couldn't relieve myself. I'm sorry I'm like talking about such a not great thing, but that is what had to happen and I couldn't, like it just like wouldn't happen. And it just festered and gave me the worst stomach ache ever. And so, <laughs> It's like a joke now, especially knowing we're going to the CrossFit Games. It's like, hey, remember when Lindsay ate that chip? <laughs> we all remember. Needless to say, I will not be eating anything spicy the day before we leave or at all ever that spicy ever again. People, I think some people that don't really like watch my YouTube channel, they see me like on Instagram and they assume I'm like a challenge eater or like that I like love eating spicy food or whatever it is and they're like oh man you need to do this challenge and that challenge and you have to do the spicy ramen and blah 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 and i'm like you've come to the wrong place are you lost let me help you find what you're looking for it ain't me <laughs> let's clear that up right now mm -hmm. I really want to do like a buttermilk marinated fried chicken, buttermilk fried chicken in the air fryer. I'm wondering if it's possible. It's been on my list of things to do. I really kind of want to coat the whole outside of it with cornflakes, maybe even frosted flakes. I know, I know that's like really, really crazy with like hot honey, maybe biscuits. That sounds like a I just kicked something. I really hurt my toe. Mm. 
This is so messy. So good and so refreshing. And obviously pairs well with it. Cucumber in here, cucumber in here. So easy. One last thing that I want to mention you guys can do is I had an, an effort to make the chicken the same size as the bun. I kind of flipped the little tail of the chicken breast, the part that's thinnest, underneath. And it ended up cooking really, really well, actually. It ended up just kind of becoming a part of the rest of the chicken that it was underneath. You could pound this chicken out. You don't need to use the skin if you don't want to. But yeah, you can pound it out, make the chicken thinner, and then you can kind of cut off the tail and use it for something else. I actually, when I deboned all of the chicken breasts, the tenderloin came off with it. So I just reserved the tenderloins, the like baked chicken tenders out of, and a few of the scraps, that large piece of chicken, I ended up just cutting off the end because it was the same size as the others with the end flipped under, larger even. And of course, if you wanted to do like crispy chicken, grilled chicken, whatever chicken you want, I think would be really fantastic with this. And then next time, I think what I would do is, not only would I try to look for a little bit thinner breasts, this is like very impressive looking though. I would definitely roast at a higher temp, 375 or 400, tomatoes the same. I actually had to broil the tomatoes at the end to really get that nice caramelized char on the top. But yeah, I would definitely oven roast the chicken, maybe just salt, pepper, and olive oil, guys. I am like, I'm pretty basic. I don't think food needs all this crazy stuff. I just love to taste like the natural essence of everything. All of these elements worked well together. I think proportionally, again, the chicken was just a little large, making it a little bit difficult to eat. Chicken burger, ooh, that would be really good too. And then you can really control how big the patty is. All right, guys, I know I've got a little bit left here, but I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna stop. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I just really, really appreciate you guys. I'm super grateful to have an amazing community of people like you that just show up for me all the time, support me. It's really amazing, so thank you. Comment below what you thought about this summer chicken sandwich Mediterranean style recipe. Comment below any other summer recipes you want to see from me, other sandwiches, burgers, I'd say salads, and I'm not against salads, I'll do a salad. Would you guys even like if I did salads? Comment below. All right guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much again for watching today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.